Hey guys, are you giving? Got a minute? Whenever the hard times come, a lot of times our giving starts to diminish. And I'm not saying that that's irresponsible, but I want to challenge you with something. Let's look at what Paul says. And now, brothers and sisters, we want you to know about the grace that God has given the Macedonian churches. In the midst of a very severe trial, their overflowing joy and their extreme poverty welled up in rich generosity. So three things are at work here. They're in the midst of a severe trial. They have severe poverty, and then you add that to their overwhelming joy. And what do you get? Rich generosity. Because whenever these things, this poverty and joy, are pressured together in a severe trial, it will produce rich generosity because people start to see the big picture. In fact, look at verses 4 and 5. They urgently pleaded with us for the privilege of sharing in this service to the Lord's people, and they exceeded our expectations. They gave themselves first of all to the Lord, and then by the will of God also to us. This wasn't a pastor standing up and saying, no, send the offering plate through again. Send it through again until they get what they're looking for. This was these people saying, please let us be a part of that. It doesn't matter about the trial. It doesn't matter about how much we don't have. It matters that we get to give ourselves to the Lord. And that's the key. They give themselves to the Lord first, and then they give out from themselves. So I challenge you to give uncomfortably. A lot of times we like to give comfortably. Whenever we can be comfortable, then it's easy to give. But give to a point where it makes you uncomfortable because then you know that you're relying on God and God has to step in in order to help you in your situation. And maybe you might even find this overflowing joy that these people had whenever they asked to give. Thanks for taking a minute.